Welcome. We got question four here. And this is, both are named, one's named rectangle math, M-A-T-H, and one's named rectangle base, B-A-S-E. They both are telling us that the diagonal H-A is one expression, and diagonal M-T is one expression. Same with this, uh, one diagonal BS is this expression, EA is this expression. Why can we set this up like this? Diagonals of rectangles are equal. That's just the way it goes. Diagonals of rectangles are equal. So, now that I can set them up, you might wanna pause the video and make sure your paper's set up. Whether I get question like this one or this one, they're basically the same question, and I'm just gonna solve for B, and then, let me make sure I know what they're being asked for. You're being asked to solve for either B or Y, and then actually the length of the diagonal. So let's go ahead and do that. So I look here and I wanna get, I'm just gonna recopy this to give myself room. I'm gonna get B by itself on one side. So if you missed this question, you probably set it up wrong. Um, so I'm gonna subtract three on both sides. So seven B minus two B is five B. 10 minus three is seven. And so my answer for B is seven fifths. Okay, so that's, that's done. Seven fifths is B. And so what would be the, the length of my diagonal? Either side would be fine. They are both exactly the same. So I can plug this back in for either the left or the right to figure out this diagonal, because remember, we know this diagonal is equal to either side because they're the same thing. So I'm gonna take, probably this side's a little bit easier, so 2B, the diagonal, MT, is equal to 2B plus 10, but you've solved the mystery of the B. So you actually know that two times seven over five plus 10 would equal either diagonal because they are equal. So to solve the length of diagonal, you have to know that to multiply fractions, you just multiply numerators, multiply denominators. So two times seven is 14, one times five is five. And now you're trying to add the number 10, but you can't because it doesn't have a common denominator. So notice if I multiply the top and the bottom by five, I get 50 over five. And yes, the number 50 over five really is the number 10. Those are exactly the same number. Now I'm able to combine like terms. So I end up getting 64 over five, which is my answer. So B is seven fifths and my diagonal is 64 fifths. Now let's take a look at form A. Very similar problem. Uh, so just as practice, if you didn't do this question, this is gonna be good practice for the test. Write the equation, get y by himself on one side. And I end up getting y to be three halves. So that part is done. y is three halves. Now again, in the same way, I can plug y back into either the left or the right because this side's one diagonal, this side's the other diagonal, and I know that diagonals of rectangles are equal. So I'm gonna write the one with the five. Five y plus eight is one of the diagonals, and so that's equal to the diagonal. And so y, I've solved the mystery of the y. It is three halves. And so I'm gonna take that and uh, the rules of multiplying fractions, you multiply numerators and multiply denominators. So five times three is 15, one times two is two. And in the same way, I have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by two so that the denominator is two. So the number 16 halves is the same number as the number eight. Now though, I can add these two fractions because I have common denominators. So that would be 15 plus 16 makes 31 halves. We've solved for the diagonals. We've solved for 
why it looks like we are done. Thanks for joining us.